Welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. Last time our adventure came to a close. However, we may yet be able to do more for these people. Our save game has been restored so we can continue where we left off. This actually goes to the nature of a pacifist versus a true pacifist run. You cannot get the true pacifist ending on your first run of the game. You actually have to get the pacifist ending first, which I did. Falawi then informed us that we may be able to be better friends with Alphys. Which, if you think about, we actually left kind of a lot hanging with Alphys. There's nothing we could have done, though, had we gone back. Nothing would have come of anything. So, with that said, it's commonly thought that in order to get the true pacifist ending, you have to beat the game once, then reset, and beat the entire game again. You do not. Admittedly, I do not know if this was added in a patch, or if it was in the initial game, but you do not have to. Flowey restores your save and tells you what to do. You can pick up right where you left off. Only this time, we can go back and do things right. I actually believe this method even more aligns with the nature of the game. We saw Flowey himself destroy our save game and then reinstate it. Flowey will mention um, through the various times you encounter him things that perhaps didn't happen in this playthrough. For example, if you kill Toriel in the intro and then load your game and play through again without killing her, in that short scene after the fight, he will mention that you killed her once before. This goes a bit to the nature, especially given that Flowey could save and load game while you were fighting him. But I feel like what this does is it tells you that the saving and loading of the game is actually something that's happening in universe. It's not just something there for us, the player, but you as a character are in fact saving and loading and making a mistake and going back and fixing it. Which is exactly what we're doing now. By loading our game with knowledge we didn't have before. So in order to be better friends with Alphys, which is our next goal, we need to make our way back to, I believe, the Hotlands. Okay, not quite. Sure thing, Undyne. If you're playing through the... If you're playing through the game a second time, you'll actually get this phone call almost immediately. I think in the Hotlands, when you're crossing the bridge, at some point. 
I don't remember exactly. You'll get it at some point. But in playing back through, you'll get it there, which is actually a place you are forced to travel through if you want to go back and do pretty much anything. We are going to Snowden. Because Undyne told us to. Fetch. So, Papyrus' house was to the right? The library. There you are. <laughs> Alright, that makes sense. I mean, you're a fish person. So, if we read the letter, we'll probably die. Maybe she wants to see over here. Hmm. You can... drop it. At which point you have to go back to Undyne. I lost it, I'm sorry. Okay, so let's try again. Okay, so same deal as before, but what if we try to drop it? Hmm. That is a strong letter. Alright, well we gotta go deliver this to Alphys, so... That should be pretty simple. Actually, it would have helped if I just walked to the left and gone up instead of to the right. But I didn't. And now I'm here. Dog boat! And here I was afraid you guys weren't going to see the dog boat at all. Stretches beyond all a reason. And you'll recall Alphys' lab is right here. Yes. And then run. Another one. Oh. 
my goodness, Undone, why didn't you sign it? I'm still not sure of the contents of that letter, but I think we can assume? Loading. I think you look wonderful. So that letter was Undyne asking Alphys on a date? Like these are for the most part intended for somebody else. For reals this time! So, how does one. Whatever makes you happy. Really? Hi. That is not a hairstyle I often see you with, Undyne. Yeah, now you realize the problem. And the predicament that I'm in. Um... Yes? Okay. Yeah, don't worry about it, Alphys. <laughs> it 
and really... It doesn't really bother me, because, like, this is... She's just a socially awkward person. She's doing the best she can. She's just not very good at it. Oh, well, I'm, I'm willing to bet she doesn't think that way. I think we all do that from time to time. Yeah. No, she won't. If you try to live a lie where both people are happy very soon into that, it'll be discovered as a lie and go even worse from there. Well, that just means you have to keep working to better yourself. If there are aspects of yourself you don't like, see what you can do about it. Eh, yeah, fudge them. don't like you for being who you want to be, then fudge them. Well, we can work on that. Obviously. <laughs> um, it'd be a lot better if I was Undyne, I feel. Because if you're Undyne, that'll just make things complicated. Then neither of us is playing somebody. Yeah. You can actually go the other way, and it's a little silly. <laughs> Dude, I'm going all out. Wow, really? Undyne tells you that a lot? Really? I don't know... I don't know how sure I am about that. <laughs> I'm going for it. <laughs> um
No, 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 not at all. Don't worry. No! That's... Awkward? <laughs> I mean... Look, Undyne is just very confused right now. I think we should probably set her straight before diving into this. I'm terrified at the same time. Dog boy! Oh my goodness. We're going beyond 100%. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna die if I choose wrong. Yes, yes, anime is real. beyond. Things are going a bit better for all of them now. The tail's not quite done, though. Until next time, everyone, when we partake in some hopefully not worthless garbage. <laughs>